What's up y'all? It's your girl LT here back with another video. So today's video is going to be something a little different besides my parents who regret having kids. I found this story off of Reddit and this is the on, on their section of Am I the Asshole section and it's kind of a little bit of child free in there a little bit but it's also a part of um some parents that are having some issues with their son but i want to go ahead and read you guys the story and uh just like normal i'm gonna read you guys the story comment down below let me know what you guys think what would you do in their situation and we'll just go from there so shout out to the child free game thank you guys so much for watching I, I appreciate you guys so much for all your continued support uh please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel i'm almost at 3,000 subscribers and i would like to get to 3,000 hopefully by the end of the year so if you can please hit that subscribe button make sure you are subscribed to my channel i would greatly appreciate it okay so let me take these off and without further ado let me go ahead and read you guys the story and comment down below let me know what you guys think okay so the title of this story is called am i the asshole for wanting to give up my son after discovering that he is not mine the situation is nothing short of a clusterfuck i'm angry depressed and sad and i don't know what to do i'm a complete throwaway i'm a 32 year old man and i'm shattered and i don't know where to turn my wife passed away last month only seven months after giving birth to our son. She developed a rare and severe form of heart failure that occurred in the, the months following childbirth. Despite the doctor's best efforts, she did not survive. Losing her so suddenly has left me feeling so heartbroken and I'm in a state of constant grief. Three weeks ago, my wife's best friend came over to visit and she was visibly nervous and eventually told me that she had something sensitive to share. After some hesitation, she revealed that my wife had confided in her that she'd been unfaithful around the time that our son was conceived and there was a chance that he may not be mine. I was stunned and I was very angry. My wife's best friend was telling me this only weeks after my wife's death and it felt like an attempt to tarnish her memory. I couldn't believe it. I told her to leave and to not come back. I confided, she convinced me that she was lying or trying to shift blame onto me somehow. The whole thing felt like a betrayal and I tried to push the thought of it out of my mind. But once the idea was planted, it wouldn't go away. I kept wondering what if she was telling the truth. After days of tormenting myself with this possibility, I decided to get a DNA test. It wasn't a, it was not an easy decision, but I felt guilty for even considering it, but I needed some kind of closure. Yesterday, the results came back and my worst feels was confirmed. My son is not biologically mine. Now I'm in a turmoil. I love my wife and I wanted to believe our son was a piece of me and her together, but knowing that he's not biologically mine has left me feeling lost and betrayed. I keep looking at him trying to feel the same bond, but the pain of my wife's infidelity is so fresh that I don't know if I'll ever be able to move past it. I feel awful even considering it, but I don't know if I can raise him on my own. The betrayal I feel is overwhelming and I don't know if I'm capable of giving him the love and care that he deserves. It's breaking my heart and I feel like a failure, but I also feel like I'm not equipped to give him the life that he deserves. Am I the asshole? Okay, uh, first and foremost, I don't believe he's the asshole in this whole story. I mean, his wife is the one that cheated on him. Um, what I would personally uh, personally do, and I'm glad that he was able to get a, um, a DNA test and shows that the, the child was not biologically his, but I definitely would, um, I would contact that friend and see if she knew who the father was, the biological father, and see if I was able to uh, get in contact with him in some kind of way. Because um, I don't know if the biological father even knows that he has a child, but if he does, uh, or let's say when he finds out he wants to keep the kid, then he should be able to, uh, you know, hand off the kid to the biological father and have the, have that father raise him. Um, that's honestly what I would do. Um, like I said, I'm glad that he got a DNA test. That would have been the first thing I would have done was to get a test. And if the child is um, not biologically mine, I would see if I could reach out to that biological parent and see if they want to take the child. Now, push comes to shove, if that biological, biological dad does not want that kid, um, I don't know if maybe anybody else in his family may want to adopt him or the, the really last resort would be probably put the kid up for adoption. If I knew in my heart that I cannot raise this child by myself, I wasn't going to be able to love it and take care of it. That's exactly what I would do is to definitely put him up for adoption because it's not going to be fair to you. It's not going to be fair to that child for you to be uh, to be in each other's lives. If you know good and well, you're not going to treat it right. You're not going to raise it correctly. And it's going to be just a bad situation for both of you. So that's what I would do. That would be my last resort. But I'm glad he got a DNA test so he at least get some closure. Um, but yeah, definitely reach out to that uh, friend that told him originally about the son being not his. And he needs to definitely see if he can reach out to the biological dad if he's able to get in contact with them. If not, then the last resort would probably be putting up for adoption. That would be my case if, I, if it was me. So let me know down in the comment section what y'all think of the story this is some oh mess this is messy 
this is really messy um but yeah i hope that i'm glad that he was able to get some kind of closure that he uh at least he was able to find out that the kid was not his so at least he was able to find that out but that's what i would do let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the story what would you do in the situation uh shout out once again to the child free gang thank you guys so much for watching if you like child free content like this be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know exactly when i upload if you're interested in participating in a child free interview anybody who is child free and you want to share your story any all is welcome okay so i want to make sure i was clear on that all is welcome so if you're child free and you want to share your story hit me up child free um child free black woman at yahoo.com is my email address uh please reach out to me if you're interested in a child free interview and if you want to participate in our child free meetup we're doing in vegas february 2025 make sure you click in the description box and make sure you click on the eventbrite link so you can go ahead and register so we can go ahead and do a zoom call uh the deadline to register for that is going to be uh december 7th and then probably the week after that we're going to go ahead and do a zoom call of everybody who's registered so we'll go ahead and talk about the trip and so forth so make sure that you want to if you want to go make sure you are registered because i need to make sure I, I get everybody who's interested in going so we can all do the zoom call together okay so other than that i do appreciate you guys uh, once again thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up please like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna check you guys out in my next video bye guys